it's possible that social media enables the psychopaths. Fundamentally, it's, it's very worrisome. People need a slap. You don't want everything to be connected to everything else. I mean, that's part of the pathology of the modern world. We're connecting everything together. It's like, that's a little too much connection. It's, it's insanity making, right? We may be driving ourselves mad with the interconnectivity online. You know, it's a great way of educating yourself. It's a great way of having access to information. But I'll tell you, man, it's a great way of being connected to all sorts of things you don't want to be connected to. And it isn't obvious which of those is going to get the upper hand. You know, like I'm not, it isn't obvious to me that Twitter could be good. See, because I'm afraid that the social, like let's take Twitter for example. Twitter is speech without responsibility. Speech without responsibility might be fatal. You know, and I, I'm saying that as an advocate of free speech, but there's a very big difference between free speech on Twitter and the free speech you and I are engaging in right now. Like you're sitting right there. There's a lot of things that I'm not going to say to you. Like not because I'm hiding, but like I'm going to be polite. There would be an immediate consequence. There would definitely. There is no immediate consequence on Twitter. Well, worse. The consequence of being psychopathic might be positive on Twitter. Right. Whenever the psychopaths get the upper hand, society dies. And it could be, like, I'm afraid of this. I think it's possible that social media enables the psychopaths, fundamentally. It's, it's very worrisome. I mean, there are a lot of bad actors on, well, you know, you read comments, you know, people need to slap. Yes, they do. They certainly do. And... There's no way of administering said slap. And so one of the consequences of that, for example, many psychological commentators had made this point, Twitter devolves into female aggression. So females, when they're aggressive, they use reputation savaging, gossip and innuendo. It's unbelievably corrosive because they can't engage in physical combat. And so that makes female antisocial behavior unbelievably pernicious and difficult to regulate. Twitter enables gossip, reputation, savaging, and innuendo, unconstrained. So what does that mean? It means everybody who tilts in that direction has free reign, but it also means that even if you don't tilt in that direction, it's going to tilt you in that direction. So and we don't know. These are unbelievably powerful communication systems. You know, you can write something casual that a million people will read. Well, maybe you shouldn't ever write something casual that a million people should read. Like maybe that's a reason for it not to be casual. Maybe if we have a technology that enables people to discuss things casually with a million people, we just all die. Like that could be. We have no idea what we're doing with these transformations of of communication. We have no idea. It's very difficult to be on Twitter without always feeling like you need to take a shower. <laughs> you know, and I, I, I don't, I, I wouldn't say that I'm at my best on Twitter. Why do I use it? I use it because that's how I keep track of the doings of 700 people that I know. I do it so that I know what's happening in the moment and that's often where I find my podcast guests. What's the downside? It's easy to say stupid, casual things. Um, and you're immersed in this responsibility-less landscape of casual speech, where all the psychopaths come out to play. It's made, uh, I mean, I don't know if this is what made it, but this is something that I want to get into with you, is, 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 is the, the polarization. People have become, I don't know if this is the right word, but almost tribal, it mm. seems like. And, you know, what really, I'm always, every day, every single day I wake up, I'm wondering, how did we get here? Why is it? 
Why is the country the way it is? It's not just the country, it's the entire world. Why is the world the way it is now? And, and you know, kind of where I'm going with this is, is people have put so much faith into political parties, political candidates. They refuse to, they refuse to look at or admit wrongdoings of, of, of anybody that they back. And that's, 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 you know, you have the right call and the left sheep. Yeah. And they're doing the same thing. They're doing the same thing. I could show them a million different things of, Hey, look at, this is what this person did and they will dismiss it and they will make excuses for it. And they would put what, why do people, why is it so, why has it become so polar? Nobody can, can, it's like we've lost all critical thinking skills in the world, it seems like to me. Well, the, the new technologies flatten the information hierarchy so that everybody can communicate with everyone. Everyone's now a journalist. That might be too many journalists. You know, we've radically expanded the degree to which we're connected with people. And okay, so you can imagine if you're a good person, perhaps that's a good thing. If you're a bad person, it's a really bad thing. A lot of the people that aggregate together online, for example, they wouldn't have a single friend in the actual real world. Mm -hmm. No one would, like your base, you know, your typical basement dwelling, resentful keyboard warrior. It's like if he was left to his own devices without this technological intermediation, He'd have zero impact on anything because no one can stand being around him. But he's magnified madly online and can aggregate with other people. That's what I mean in some ways by the enabling of the psychopaths. So it's not that easy for psychopaths to organize because no one likes them, including other psychopaths. But well, they can certainly organize. They can certainly organize online. And so we're enabling that. And people are not cognizant of the danger. I've talked to Democrats for seven years, 50 congressmen, senators, people in positions of authority, RFK, Dean Phillips. I always ask them the same question. When does the left go too far? They never answer. They have no idea. They don't take the fringe seriously. They think, oh, those people don't mean it. It's like, you... People tend to mean what they say. You know, I know people lie, but often the easiest way to find out what someone's up to is just to listen to what they say. They'll tell you. Hitler told everyone what he was up to. He wrote a whole book about it. Oh, no, he couldn't be up to that. It's like, yeah, yeah, pretty much he was up to that. These people who come out and say, you know, we should burn everything to the ground and start again. It's like, that's what they mean. Oh, they don't really mean that. They don't mean that with equity. They don't mean equality of outcome. They don't really mean that. They mean it. They have sway online and far more than is good for us. Is that part of the polarization? I think so. I think the polarization is driven to some degree by the fact that social media enables the psychopaths. So we know what they're like. So here's the, we know this is true, by the way, because these people are much more likely to troll post online. So there's been psychological investigations into that. What's the psychological makeup of LOL troll po po posters? These are people who are doing it for the laughs, doing it for the lulls, just causing trouble. Ha ha ha. They're psychopathic. So that means they're predatory parasites. They're narcissistic, which means they want reputation without earning it. They're Machiavellian, which means that they use their words to do nothing but manipulate for their own short-term benefit. And to cap it all off, because that's not enough, they're sadistic, which means they take positive delight in the suffering of others. All right, that's, that's not good. None of that's good. And so you let those people take the upper hand, you're in serious trouble. No matter where you're watching Sean Ryan show from, if you get anything out of this, please like, Comment, subscribe, and most importantly, share this everywhere you possibly can. And if you're feeling extra generous, 
please leave us a review on Apple and Spotify podcasts.